So what did I want in 2021 on my wish list? A baby? <gasps> <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to the Victor and Sam YouTube channel. We are photographers based in Hong Kong. We cover things like freelancing, uh, photography, and just life in general in Hong Kong. Today's video will be covering a home and luxury wish list in 2021. Things that we wish to have, but not necessarily need, but just really nice. want it. Well, we'll be covering three topics today, which is handbags. He doesn't have much input on that. Also, jewelry watches and home. As you guys know, we are currently renovating our house, so our list for that is going to be a lot longer than the other two combined. So let's get started. Oh, our first category will be handbags. Okay, all right. <laughs> I have a list of four bags that I want, but actually one of them I just knocked off my list this week. I will be doing an unboxing <laughs> of this at the Chanel store this week, and our next video will probably be on another Chanel bag. But anyway, first bag that I've started thinking about purchasing is the Chanel Trendy CC in black or beige or brown. I'm quite flexible like that. Have you seen it? No. <laughs> it is a top handle bag, but I love how you can also crossbody because there was a strap around it. And I started watching a lot of YouTube videos like comparing. Yeah. Okay, number two is a Loewe straw tote bag. That was Loewe. No, it's Loewe. Loewe. It's the bag, you know, with the brown leather logo on the front. I've been wanting it for a while now, and the price is around 3K HKD. I did look at it pre loved, but um, the pre loved price is also about the same as retail. I just haven't got it yet just because we have no place to go. It is really a beach bag, and since we won't be going to Bali anytime soon, I just thought I'll just hold off until then. Number three is a wild card bag. I just call it the seasonal fun bag that I would love to get from Chanel. It doesn't exist right now, but I would love to add a like a fun print to my Chanel collection. So there's no exact bag that I want for this, but something along the lines of this. Next topic is jewelry and watches. So I think one thing that we both want this year is to have at least a wedding band. We don't have rings yet on our fingers since we got married uh, last year. I think that we can represent our marriage and I guess Not signal love. <laughs> that we're taken <laughs> and yeah, off, especially you. off the market because I am so single actually that I have no ring on my finger. <laughs> but yeah, we want rings. I think we'll just get it custom made since we got the engagement ring custom made. I think I want a... Not very shiny, but maybe more matte, <laughs> dull looking kind dull of ring. Dull looking. Maybe like to a symbolize silver. our marriage. <laughs> like a silver or. I guess gold would be nice, but I feel like gold is a bit tacky. <gasps> Excuse me? I would like a ring, I think, to match the radiant cut something along the lines of baguette diamonds going horizontally around the entire have, ring. Like, four rings here, five rings. Yeah, Just a girl can never have. That's there. why you have 10 fingers. It's like brass knuckles now. <laughs> Along the lines of rings, I would love something from Cartier and I've been looking at the Cartier love ring Just not as a wedding band, but just as an everyday accessory I haven't really looked at the sizes or anything yet Or the so, price or the prices. <laughs> And lastly, I would like a Cartier watch I haven't done a lot of research yet, so I can't really make an informed decision on which one I will purchase, but I have been looking at the Ballon Bleu in gold. <laughs> Tried it on like a few years ago and I really like the round interface, but actually lately these days I've been thinking about getting a square or a rectangle face. Yeah, so it's square. <laughs> getting either the Panther or the tank. But honestly I'm a bit intimidated to go into the store and try so uh, maybe one day I'll just go in with one of my girlfriends to Take a look and try yeah. on the different styles. And they can pay for it too. <laughs> Next topic is home goods and things that we want after we move back into our newly renovated home. And the top thing on my list is Philips Hue lighting. I think it's so cool just having lights being turned on by voice commands. And on your phone, just like turn on lights. And I use Google or use Siri. Just like be like, hey Google, turn on lights. And then come home with like bright lights in the washroom or the living room, the kitchen. And plus you can even change the colors of lights. So when you're watching a movie, you can like change the lights to the sound. Oh, we do have uh, a whole home system of Sonos 
for our sound system, so why not also sync that with our lighting system? Yeah. This actually is a must-have item for me right now, out of everything on this wish list, like Chanel bags maybe in the future, maybe next year, next month. <laughs> My birthday's coming up. We just got like, how many? <laughs> A girl can never be at purse piece. The item that I really want for our home is a kitchen aid stand mixer. As you guys know, I love baking and all these years I have been using a hand mixer. Yeah. And it's actually quite tiring to use and I've noticed a lot of people on Instagram and YouTube, they have a stand mixer, they just dump things in and voila, it's already like the cream is then whipped, you know, the batter becomes nice and fluffy and they don't have to do any sort of like hand exercise Forearm. to do it. Okay. So we actually start looking at the KitchenAid mixers. There's the, the um, Artisan. So I had the Artisan line and I think it comes in like this off-white kind of creamy vintage look nice uh, color that I would like to get. And that's one thing I told myself I would buy as soon as we move back along with Silpat, I think it's called Silpat silicone um, sheets, baking sheets. Uh -huh. Because I don't know, in Hong Kong we have those baking sheets, but they're not branded and I don't know if they're the same or, but just because of food safety, I would prefer to buy them on Amazon in the future. So next up on my list is a brand new coffee machine because we bought a coffee machine this time last year, around that time. And you guys know how much we love making coffee every day. So having a brand new coffee machine that has nice pressure is very important for latte art. And the machine is called La Marzocco, La, La, Mar La Marzocco, La Marzocco, okay, I'm sorry. But it's called La Marzocco, La, La, the mini version. And it has- The linea, right? Yeah, linea. And it has linea. many colors, but we do want the, I guess the off white color because it looks really nice. And it has a really big water tank. And the milk spout is very high pressure. So it's very easy to make the bubbles for the milk to be silky and smooth to that beautiful latte art. And on that note, I would really love a nice coffee bar. So I think that's something that we would like to custom make after we move in because we're not very the sure. print in the wall. Yeah, yes. and then pro ideally with some natural lighting so we can shoot nice videos with the machine. One more thing is uh, on my list, it's also a Dyson vacuum. It's uh, the V, it's clean, portable. <laughs> V11 Absolute Extra. Absolute Extra is absolutely <laughs> extra clean. I don't know. It's small enough that you can put it in the closet and just charge it on the wall. So I like that a lot and it's convenient for just emptying your dirt into the garbage can. This was part of the wish list when we kind of drafted it up, but we actually just purchased it last week. Cross it off. And we have designed a closet so that inside you can actually charge the vacuum. And, and the best hidden. thing about it, yeah, is that I don't need to stare at my vacuum and my mops in our house because we have a storage unit just for cleaning products. Next on the list is the Hermes throw blanket, <laughs> the Avalon. This has been something I've also been looking at for the last few years, but honestly, do I need it? No. Do I like it? Yes. So if anyone wants to buy us a housewarming gift... I'm gonna get you that. <laughs> so one last thing on my list that I think I should and must have this year is because we do work a lot at home and we do sit a lot on these chairs that are not supposed to be chairs we're working on, is having a proper ergonomic chair and desk. I saw a brand called Hag, they're called the Capisco chairs, and they're made for back support, and you can sit on it from front and back, and it's leather, it's brown leather, which you like too. Well, you have a, there is a fabric version, but the leather version is... And they're super expensive. Yeah, how much but, is it? Uh, 20K? Like 20 something K, but it's, yeah, it's pricey. Half a Chanel neck. Anyways, but it is good for the back and for long periods of hours of sitting. So I think also having a standing desk, which is a button to go is good to have because you can stand and also sit whenever you feel like it. And last but not least, and this is one item that we must get, is a dining table. I've been living in this place for about six years and I've gone through a couple of dining tables. First one was a circle concrete one. It was very unstable. Second one, I just made one. I ordered a piece of wood from Wan Chai uh, Renovation Street and I just put two Ikea legs on it and I just Velcroed it, yeah, it on there. <laughs> it was so wobbly. And, and it was like, bending in the middle. It was like the, it's such a bad idea, but I was not, I was having commitment issues with the length and stuff. So that's why I got it. 
Then thirdly, we got a uh, IKEA, that round IKEA white table. table that you see in our videos, and it was donated from our friend's office. But the more we used it, and the more times we pour coffee in it, you would see it yeah. start cracking. Yeah, Every bad. time espresso hit it, it would immediately stain. You would have to get like bleach to get the stains yeah. out. So when we start renovating, we told the construction workers, we don't need this table anymore. You just toss it out. And it's, it's also very unstable too. So my dream table, I've mentioned it in my stories before, is a long six to eight person oval table, yeah. preferably with elephant legs in a brutalist style. I don't want hairpin legs. I feel like I've seen them too much. Yeah. And I just want something that looks very sculptural, substantial, but light enough so that we can move it out of, <laughs> move, it <around. laughs> move it around for photo shoots because there, there's gonna be like this long wall that we can take photos at. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this type of video. If you did, please consider subscribing and give us a thumbs up. And we will see you in our next one. Bye.